Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And um, today I'm going to show you how to take an existing um, STL file of an airplane and how to make molds from it and also how to make the mesh file bigger if you need to and you want to make um, um, larger molds from it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, first of all, I need to insert my uh, mesh file. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can come up to insert and um, select um, your file from here. And let's see here. I'm looking for here, just a fuselage mesh, and here it is. And open this. Now let's look at this, turn the origin on. And I see that um, it's not centered on the origin, so I'm going to move it. There. And click OK. Now, like I said, you can um, import an STL file um, other ways, too. You could come up here and select Open and um, select a file that you wanted that way, too. But uh, this is just one way. So now we have this here and come over here and take a look at bodies and we see that this is a mesh file here. So, and um, so now what I'm gonna do is just draw a box around this. So click this plane, create sketch here. And I'm gonna draw a line around here. Now this line is gonna be the um, the mold. So however big you want it, it's up to you. But um, if you're going to 3D print the, um, the mold, then it could be a lot of wasted plastic if you make it really big. So, and a lot of time printing. But for this purpose, I'm just showing you guys how to do this. And click OK. Move this back a little. All right, go ahead and finish sketch. And um, letter E for extrude. And we want to extrude this profile here. And I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to make this uh, 110. It's up to you guys how big you want to make this. And click OK. I don't need this origin anymore, so I'll turn that off. And now, so we have the two parts. We have the mold and the, um, the part here. And as you can see, this here is a solid body. So we need to turn this into a mesh also. So to turn this into a mesh, let me turn this um, uh, fuselage off and change the name on here to mold. Now, like I said, it's, and to turn this into a mesh, I just come up here to mesh, create. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, tessellate, and, um, but that's it. I click that and I want to turn this body here. So I just select this body and click OK. Now you can see this is a mesh file too by this symbol. So I have two mesh um, bodies here. Next, what we want to do next is come up here to modify and combine. And the tool, um, excuse me, the target body is this. And the tool body is the fuselage. And make sure that this is set to cut. Keep tools and click OK. Now we turn off the fuselage and mesh and you can see it cut it right into that. And there we have your mold. Now, what you can do here is split this up too in um, um, smaller portions so it fits on your, um, on your um, 3D printer bed. 
And um, I'll show you guys how to do that if you need to. And so this is exactly how you would make um, a, um, um, a mold from an STL. It's, it's just that simple. And this is a, um, a mesh. And what you do here, just save this, right click, and save as a mesh. And click OK. And wherever you want to save it at, then you just save it there. And you can also split this up in your slicer program too, whatever program you're using. And um, so I'll show you guys another thing what you can do also with this. You turn this off and turn the fuselage mesh back on. Let's say you wanted this to be bigger. What you do is come up here to modify and Let's see, did I go to the right place? Ah, scale mesh. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong spot here. Scale mesh. All right, then you click this. Now what you do, if you need, like I said, if you need it bigger, just drag this out and it uh, makes it bigger. So if you know that the certain point from here to here needs to be a um, certain thing, Let's say you want this to be two meters long. Um, come up here, inspect, measure. Take the point here and a point in the back. And you know that's um, 2,278 millimeters. So like I said, if you need that to be bigger, just go up there to like I said, modify and scale mesh and you can make it smaller or bigger. It's up to you. So there's a couple of things I want to show you guys. And um, so that's going to do it for this video. And um, so, oh, um, let me show you how to split up the, um, the mold, the um, being a mesh. Okay, now to split this, it's pretty simple to do this also. Um, all you do is come up here, construct, offset plane, and the distance between here, you don't want uh, uh, to be greater than the z-axis on your, um, your 3D printer. So if your z-axis will only go to 200, just move this down to 200 and click OK. And um, let's add one more. And 200 and click OK. Now we have this here. And all we're going to do is come up here to modify. And do a plane cut. This is the body. And the plane cut is going to be this. And the type is going to be split body, no fill, and click OK. Now we have this here, another section of it. It's just that simple. And I'll just do it once more. Modify, plain cut. This is the body. This is the cut plane. And click OK. Now we have the fuselage cut up here now. And those are just some of the tools up in the, um, um, the mesh menu that you can use for your existing STL files. And um, so that's pretty much gonna, it going to do it for this video. Just wanted to make a short video to let you guys um, know how to uh, make molds from an existing STL of an airplane. And uh, this is great and show you how to make the, the airplane even bigger if you need it to be bigger. So, um, yeah.
So that's going to do it. And um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video and um, comment down below. And if you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and um, leave them down in the comments also. And I'll also invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon account. On my Patreon account, you'll get um, uh, much more help on stuff that you need to, um, to learn how to do or you're working on. And um, it's a great place. So um, go ahead and um, take a look at it. And um, links to both of the sites will be down in the comments. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.